What's going on, everybody? It's your main man, DrewTube, and I'm back at you again with another video. Let's get right into it. Everybody, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, smash that share button, show me some love in the comments. We about to get it rocking, all right? Don't participate in the put down of yourself. Instead, focus on how you feel about yourself, the positive things about you. Don't focus on put downs, all right? Don't focus on the negative things about yourself and don't focus on the negative things other people say about you. Because when you focus on the negative aspects of yourself, you're not giving yourself a chance. You're putting yourself down and you don't want to participate in the put down of yourself. People may point out your flaws. People may point out the things that aren't good about you. People may put your business on front street as far as what's going on with you or what you're uncomfortable with about yourself, or they may try to keep bringing it back up around you. Don't put yourself down because of other people and how they're trying to get you to feel. You have to lift yourself up no matter what is going on around you. You have to work on how you feel about yourself no matter how other people may feel about you. Because at the end of the day, your thought is going to be what is swirling around in your mind. And if those people put you down, and if you believe in what they say, if you believe what they're telling you, then you're going to be feeling that way about yourself. And that's, that's their whole entire mission. Their whole entire mission and their whole entire goal is to change the way you feel about yourself. When people see you are a positive person, they want to attack that because they don't feel that good about themselves. So one thing that they'll that one thing that certain people will do is that when 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 you're feeling good about yourself and you're feeling positive and they can see that, they will try to tear you down and make you feel the opposite way of that. Narcissists, they like to study human behavior, they like to study people's emotions, they like to study what bothers people, what makes people tick. So that way they have firepower against you. Because they're not really smart enough to take you out any other way, but to try to affect you the in the weakest way possible. All right, through your mind, they're trying to get get to you through your mind. They won't. They wouldn't step to you. Or they wouldn't try to do anything else. But they they won't even let you know that they don't like you for real, for real. So sometimes people are just stuck in a coward mind state, and they want other people to be affected by it. If they're a coward, they want you to be a coward. If they're afraid, they want you to be afraid. If they're unhappy and upset, newsflash, you guessed it, they want you to be unhappy and upset. It's all because they want to alter your mood and they don't like the confident feeling that you give off when you come around them. They don't like the fact that you're able to feel confident in their presence. They have things that they're insecure about. So don't come around feeling too confident around certain people because when they see that, they're going to try to tear you down because of the good things you see about yourself. That's why people are constantly trying to make you aware of all the negative things. Oh, you got flaws. Oh, your hair is this tight. Oh, you're, uh, you don't have long hair? What happened to your long hair? It's short now, huh? Or like they'll say all types of negative things to make you feel bad about yourself or to make you question your, your, make you question yourself or doubt yourself. They want you to doubt your choices. They don't want you to be confident in yourself. They want you to doubt everything. They don't want you to be comfortable enough to try anything new, hairstyle, clothes, lifestyle change, none of that. They don't want you to be comfortable trying a, a healthy new diet. They don't want you to be comfortable trying to exercise, trying to lose weight, trying to get in shape. A lot of people who are jealous of you and don't want to see you succeed will try to clown you for trying to do better in your life because they don't want you to make that, that positive change. They know that if you make that positive change, you're going to feel better about yourself. And that's something that would kill them on the inside because they, they, they don't like, they do not like it when you feel good about who you are. It's a slap in the face to them because it's like they feel that they're this big, bad person who can, who is in control of how you feel. A lot of people have been in control of how you feel for your entire life and they've been playing with you like a puppet manipulating you, controlling how you feel, controlling your attitude. And it's, it's evil that they do that. But now I'm here to tell you today that you have control over that by the way you think. 
These people can say whatever they want. They can treat you however they want. They do not have power over how you think or how you think about them. They don't have power over that. So whether people are trying to make you upset, you're going to have to let go of some things, some anger, some resentment, all right, some hatred, because you're going to feel a certain type of way about people who are trying to destroy yourself, your positive self-image. And a lot of people, they take pride in that. They take pride in breaking you down, destroying your self-image and putting a frown on your face and wiping that smile clean off your face. This, this could be family. This could be mom and dad. This could be anybody. Anybody could take pride and, and take joy in wiping a smile off your face. Because if, if you've seen it happen in real time, if you've seen somebody attack your happiness, that's not, uh, that's not uh, a sincere loved one. All right. Not as sincere as you would like it to be. So the people who try to attack your happiness, they may have some love for you. They may care about you, but they still attack your happiness. So just because someone says they love you and someone cares about you, are you going to stick around for people who are going to at some point or another attack the way you feel <laughs> just because you never know how they're going to feel? You never know if this person is happy or sad or angry and if they're going to take it out on you. It, who wants to just, it's like somebody, it's like some big guy walking around who's like 6'5", looking like Shaq or like 7'12", 7'11", and, and he's walking around just whenever he feels like it, he want to cold clock somebody and punch him in the face. Or or somebody small, 3'4", 5'8", somebody just walking around with a baseball bat, whatever they feel like, that they just go, Kunk! or it's like that person, in a, it's like that crazy that crazy uh, middle school kid uh, with a gun in his backpack that whenever he wants to, he'll just open fire and just shoot. Or it's like that person in the in the neighborhood with a gun that just sits on their porch that's crazy as hell and just be shooting. Or somebody that's just waiting to cause some trouble. Who's going to stick around for somebody that you know this person got a gun and they can shoot up the neighborhood at any minute? Who's going to stick around and get shot? Not me. Not anybody with some common sense. So if anybody's going to stick around for somebody to belittle them, somebody to antagonize them, somebody to destroy their positive self-image... That person is either playing Russian roulette with their with their life and their mental health, or that person is just unaware that these people are treating them like that. And I guarantee you nine times out of 10, people are just unaware. They know that they feel uncomfortable around certain people and they know certain things that they like don't like about certain people. Like early on, I, I would realize that I, I just didn't like certain things that people said. And I'm like, why do these people keep bringing that up? Why do these people keep saying that? But then as I would heal myself and I would make myself feel better and I would grow so that way it wouldn't affect me that in, 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 in such a negative way, I'd come back around and then I'd see that they would still try to be, used, be using that against me to tear me down and to belittle me. And then once they see that didn't work, they would try something else. They'll, they'll bring up all your failures. They'll bring up all, all the things that you lost at. They'll bring up all the things you didn't succeed at all to try and attempt. To destroy your positive self-image. These people see that you're building yourself back up. They see that you're building yourself up into the greatest version of yourself. Something that you would respect. Something that they would respect. Even if they don't like you, they'd still respect you. They don't even want you to get that far. So you're going to have to keep your business to yourself. Keep your plans to yourself. And you're going to have to keep the way you feel about yourself to yourself. Don't let these people see you happy. Don't let these people know you're happy. Keep your happiness to yourself. If you have to be around them, put a poker face on. You got to be around them, uh, grave rock them. Don't keep, don't give them any information into your life. Keep small, short, and petite. Hi, how are you? Hello. Okay, sure. Keep it small, short, and sweet, and show no emotion to them. Don't show sadness. Don't show anger. Don't show hat joy. None of that. Just be completely blank and completely just Squidward. You know what I'm saying? Just ah uh, hello just you know what i'm saying just nobody bothers squidward okay <laughs> don't know except happy people and if i had happy people like spongebob trying to rock with me i probably wouldn't even mind you know what i mean pause y'all get what i'm saying but long story short life ain't a cartoon even though they put a lot of the real information they put all the secretive information that you should know in the cartoons because they know only the, only the smart kids the chosen one kids are going to pick it up. Only the elite kids are going to pick it up. Okay. So that being said, but always defend 
how you feel about yourself and your own mind, not to other people. You don't have to try to convince other people how to feel about you. I know you may have wasted a lot of time early in your journey doing that. No, that's not me. I don't do that anymore. Uh, I don't feel that way or that I, I, that happened when I was a kid or no, I don't do that or that's not me or I've changed my life or I don't, I don't live that life anymore or I've changed or, duh, 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 or this and that. People don't want to let you live certain things down. There, there are people who would have wished you stayed on a negative path just so that they didn't have to see the new version of you and change how they felt about you. These people, some There are some people out there that like to see you in a state where you're destroyed. There's some people out there that like to see you on a level of hopelessness and helplessness. Believe it or not. And these people could be closer to you than you could imagine. But what you have to do is you still have to do your part. You still have to stand up for yourself. You still have to take care of yourself the best you can. You still have to try. You still have to do things. You still have to make your dream happen and make your life happen because you got a cre- uh, you got a reality to create. You weren't put here to be fake. You weren't put here to hate. You were put here to be great and you were put here to create. So the one thing that you have to do is create and be great. You don't have to be started. You don't have to be great to get started, but in order to uh, be great, you got to get started. Okay. So you got to get started on something. You got to do something so that you could be great. And also in the midst of that, you have to work on your self-esteem. You have to work on your positive self-image because people will try to destroy it. They'll try to tear it down because they'll think that I've had people say this to me all because I got out of a bad situation and got into a good situation. People were saying that I was all high and mighty. They said, oh, who is he all high and mighty? Bro, you're you're a demon. We don't have anything in common. I'm not going to waste my energy and talk to you just because you're around me. And we're in the same car. This is when I started realizing that I needed to be by myself all the time. Okay, unless God brings people into my life, I need to be by myself all the time. Because a lot of people are demonic and they don't care about other people. And you they'll leave you wanting to they'll leave you wanting to get into a, a, a fight with them. And it's like you aren't trying to take it that far if you don't have to. Because the, the person is stupid to begin with. You can see how dumb the person is. And you don't want to have to do anything worse to them. Right. So these people, just because they're around you, they think that you have to give them your energy. You don't have to give these people your energy. And if they want to cop an attitude, if they want to get upset, that's cool, too. All right. Don't don't give in to these people. Don't talk to people. Don't try to be anybody's friend. Don't let anybody try to force themselves on you. Pressure pressure you into giving them energy. Don't do that. All right. And don't feel bad about yourself. Because you're not being friendly to people. You don't got to talk to these people. It's a lot of demons out here. It's a lot of demonic frequencies out here. So it's best to just stay to yourself, protect your energy, and work on your positive self-image. You'll get around people. You'll start to be friends with people. And then you done, you done thought they were cool. And now you done showed them the positive side of you. And now they're calling your bluff and calling you out saying it's BS. And they're being as negative as they possibly can. And now they're wondering why you don't want to be their friend. Nobody wants to be the friend of a negative person. Somebody who's always, "Uh, nothing's ever going to change. Nothing's ever going to work out. Nothing new. Nothing better. It's just the same. Nobody wants to be somebody's friend like that. I'd rather be somebody's friend who's struggling if they got a positive attitude. Yo, how are things going, man? Yo, I'm keeping my head up, dog. I'm going to make it. Yo, I like talking to this person. Nobody wants to talk to nothing. I never get what I want. I'm always uh, going through the same thing. Nothing good ever happens to me. Like, screw all that. Yo, you will not be my friend talking like that. I'm telling you, I will, I will disown you. I won't know you. I have to get away from you because that negative energy is going to destroy my positive self image. And people don't even have to destroy your positive self image. All they got to do is let out, e- e- emote a negative energy or a negative frequency around you. And that in itself enough is draining enough to do the same, have the same effect as a put down. If they, 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 you got to watch out. Some people are so slick with it. They don't got to put you down. They'll put themselves down and just be around you. Oh, woe is me. <laughs> no good days ever come to me. Nothing good ever happens to me. None of that, bro. Screw that. Forget that. I can't know you like that. If I'm trying to, yo, if, if you won't let me bring you up. I will not let you bring me down. I repeat, if you won't let me bring you up, I'll be damned if I let you bring me down. And that's that's what a lot of people do. They won't let you bring them up, but they want 
to bring you down. And you can't let people do that to you. If, you. if you're excited about your life, if you're happy, if you're joyful, if you got a positive mindset, a positive self-image about who you are, what you want to be, and what you want to do and have in life, and people are constantly taking shots at you for that, constantly gaslighting you for that, constantly trying to put you down for wanting more out of life, get away from those people and let them, let them live their lower level of life. Let them be satisfied with the lower level of life that they want. You separate yourself, you work on yourself. And in a few years when you become successful and you're um, set and paid and rich and happy and smiling and joyful and looking good, feeling good, smelling good and driving in something clean and good, go back around for a little bit. Bless them with your presence. Once they start getting evil, wicked and nasty and mean, dip off, go back, enjoy your day, take a deep breath and go count you some blues. All right, count, count you some blues to take away those blues. All right, yo, yo, blues for blues. <laughs> yo, blues always make my blues feel better. And I'm about to get me some blues, okay? Money always makes everything better. So regardless of people trying to act weird, regardless of people trying to put you down, you lift yourself up with a positive mindset and some money might help too. All right, you might need to go get you some money. That would definitely make you feel better about yourself. But definitely continue to speak positively, continue to think positively, positively about who you are, about what you want to be, about what you stand for, about what you represent. And just because you feel positive, just because you feel you could be great and you're not there yet and you have a positive message, people are saying it's BS, people are calling it bluff, people are calling it whatever, just because you don't have the things they have or they don't agree or they may just hate you, they may be jealous. Don't allow that to stop you. Don't allow that to stop you from working on your goals, going after your dream, or wanting to become successful because that's all they are is dream killers. Some people, they want to kill your dream. They see that you have a positive mindset. They see that you're dreaming big. They see that you have a high aim in life or high goals in life, and they want to knock you down. All right? They want to they wanna clip your wings so that you can't fly. They want you to be a, a birdless wing. Just walking around like them, just doing the average everyday stuff. They don't want you to leave their reality. If you leave and 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 you go off and have a better life, they know that everything that you stood for and everything that you meant and everything that you said was always right, almost about yourself anyway, and about your goals, about you wanting to be. Nobody's a hundred percent right all the time, but you were right as far as what you told them as far as how you believed in yourself, how you said you would make it, how you said you would become successful, but because it wouldn't produce anything right now. People are instant microwave success people. If you can't be success right now, they don't want to hear it. If, you, if your success can't produce for you right now, they don't want to hear it. They, they call it bluff. They call it BS. They say it's not worth anything. They say you're wasting your time. But if you were to keep going and not give up, wouldn't you eventually get somewhere? What could they tell you then at that point? Guess what? Nah, 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 nah. Wait till you get your money right. I did it wrong on purpose, so I can't get copyright. They can't um they can't tell you anything and they can't tell you nothing once you get your money right. Once you get your money right, they can't tell you anything. All right. You shouldn't be uh going after that dream. You shouldn't be they can't tell you nothing once your dream is working, popping, making money for yourself and, and, and you're living the life of your dreams and you're successful. They can't tell you anything except hi, bye, or I hate you, or I love you. Okay, and they probably won't say either one. They'll probably just stay in between and just <sighs> good to see you too. Have a good day. Like just be tight and mean and nasty with you. So it is what it is. So Yo, keep going after your success and keep going after a positive self-image. Keep going after reinventing yourself. If you don't like who you are, make yourself into somebody else in the sense of if you don't like the negative mindset, the negative self-image you created, the negative um, reality you created, the negative things you said about yourself, say some positive, uplifting things about yourself. They got positive affirmations out there that will help you change how you feel, change how you look at your life, change how you look at yourself, change how you look at your world, your situation, your environment, your uh, reality. Okay, how you how you look how you look at your achievements and goals and things. So, look up some of those positive affirmations. Get you an arsenal of positive things you can say about yourself when you start your day and before you go to bed at night and. You will start to grow into a positive self-image. You'll start to grow into a positive mindset. 
you'll start to plant positive seeds to where you'll think positively about yourself and all those negative thoughts will be uprooted and they'll be removed from your thinking. So I want to thank everybody for watching this video. Hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, hit that share button and show me some love in the comments because this has been another powerful message. I thank God for uh, allowing me to give this message and I'll see everybody in the next video. Everybody stay prayed up, stay blessed. Drew Tube out.